Hello. Camera, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this morning we're currently in the car, as you can see. And we're going to... Somewhere. Somewhere. Magical mystery tour. It's like an Easter egg hunt. You never know what you're going to get. You don't know where you're going. But we're going to put £150,000 worth of fuel in the car and just drive and see where it takes us. Now we're going to play group. Again. <laughs> Kids love it. So they're going to go, oh shit, green light. And the green light! So we're going to a different playgroup today to what we did yesterday. Um, we tend to try to take them out to playgroup at least once or twice a week because they like to get out and social um, social skills are good for learning before they start preschool. Electrical division. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but we need to get a drink first. The girls have got their juice and water but we haven't got a drink. We've had a cup of coffee and a cup of tea each. Because it's only early. Well, I say it's early, it's 20 to 10. So. We was contemplating going over to a different play group that we've been to before. We haven't been there for a while. But we decided to go to this one because it's a little bit better to be fair. There's a lot more to do. And they like to run around like idiots. So, there you go. You may get some drinkage. Oh, what a lovely morning! Oh, what a lovely day! Wow, it's so sunny again today. And it's only 11 degrees. Right, we've got a drink from the petrol station. So we're now making our way to the other side of town, which is about five minute, seven minute drive, something like that. As long as there's no cranes on the road in the way, offloading bricks and stuff, but you know, there always is one. Highway maintenance, that's not highway maintenance. Key line. Key line. Key line pie. So, um, the traffic's not too bad. You right, girls? Yes, Daddy. Good. Right, I'm currently, we've come back from the play centre, and I'm currently on the old railway works around the back of Newtown in Ashford. Um, didn't actually mean to come here, to be honest, but we've driven in and we've, we've sort of found a way in. We was looking for a way in a few weeks back. It's all old railway work. Not that we can get into the units or anything, I wouldn't want to do that, but, but there's the works there. It's all overgrown. This used to be busy, busy, busy railway gymnasiums over there. But it used to, this used to be really, really busy at one stage with the Victorian era and the Edwardian era because of the, the works. It's not a lot here to be fair, but um, it's all locked up. Everything's boarded up and shut down and locked up because they don't want you getting in. Which is a shame because I can imagine it's quite an interesting unit. A lot of buildings to go in. I think. No. <coughs> this place has got a lot of history. I have a lot of history. That's that's the unit there. There it is. Now the explorer in me is telling me to um, find a way in, and I've just found a way in actually. But the explorer in me is saying, "Go on, you want to go in? There's doors open." You can have a look, but the the uh, problem being is I've got everyone in the car, so I'm not going to run in and have a look. I might come back a little bit later. There's lots of different units. <coughs> it would have been different works for the. shunting yard they would have done lots of different work it's so interesting I find these buildings like these old Victorian buildings really interesting but it's a shame that I can't actually get properly in because I'd love to Even these wires up against all the windows to make sure that you can't get in Let's look around here quickly before we go Lots of debris all over the place. Hell of a lot of debris. Oh wow, that's all awesome that is. 
Someone's left us a sofa, so if we get a bit tired, we can sit down. Look, that was nice of them. Even that's all empty. Port cabins just left to rot. Not that this site isn't used because it is used, but not for its intended purpose anymore because it was set up as a railway works in the Victorian times. It would have been absolutely heave in this place, absolutely heaving in its heyday. Busy work, lots of noise going on. It's the old part of Ashford that doesn't seem to exist anymore, which is a shame. Right, I've gone for a little drive and um, I've just found a very, very nice looking castle in Brockhanger. Western hangar, sorry. And it looks very, very nice. There would have been a moat and everything. I knew this existed, I've never been down here before. But that's it there, and there's the grounds. I think it's a and b or something. And there's a galleon in the car park. How strange is that? I'd like to do a bit of history on this place because it's really nice looking, to be fair. And it's right next to a race course as well. Which is... Uh, Folks and race course, I believe. Yeah, folks race course. But it's derelict. Because it's all being shut down and broken down and smashed up. To um, turn into houses. It's a shame, really. And six schools, apparently. I can imagine they sold the land for a hell of a lot of money because there is a lot of land there. It would be nice to get in and have a look. But that castle's amazing. And that's the castle that we've just found out the blue. It's like a, a mix of a castle and a traditional sort of Tudor building. So um, yeah, we're going to continue on our little adventure. We're going to make our way down to Hive. That's where we're, that's where we're actually going. Hive. But yeah, that's amazing. And look, there's the galleon. There's the mast and rigging. The, of all the things to find in someone's front garden, you wouldn't expect to find a full galleon. I might contact them at some stage, see if I can get access. Right, let's carry on with our journey. This is Hive, driving yeah, through now. Hive. Hive Tan. We're gonna go down to the beach, see what's going down there. Have a picnic. It's a again. lovely day again. Another picnic. <laughs> yeah, when the sun's out, we go out. So expect lots of vlogs because we spend most of our time in the sunshine. Time allowing. The canal down there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the it. The Royal but Military Canal. You might get down and have a look at it a little bit. Boats open it. Right. That'd be a good vlog, wouldn't it? Here we go, down rowing. Yeah, yeah, go rowing. What's this place? St Michael's Methodist Anglian, Anglian Church Centre. Church Centre. Oh, hello, long head man. Big canal. Oh, look. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have a look. Maybe I'll wander down there later. Give you a little ganders. Pretty canal. Ganders. But you've got, you've got canals, you've got the seafront, you've got the old town. You, you, this is the old bit. You, everything you want is in Hive. Right. It's just lovely. We always place first choice to come to is Hive all the time. Yeah, it used to be where the boats are, but that's no longer there. Yeah, is they've it? taken the boats. We'll go away. down to that bit, I think. Yeah, Shelney used to be sea huts, which are now new build houses. So you're just building on everything. As you can see by most of this video, there's just building everywhere going on. It just seems to be everything has been built on any scrap of land, even if it's the size of a postage stamp, they want to build on it for some reason. Well, that's nice, sitting up there on the balcony, watching the sea come in, a cup of coffee in your hand. Seafood restaurant, a bar, State Court Hotel where we need to stay. Yeah, right. we did need to stay there, didn't we? 
there's a thing from the Napoleonic time called uh, Martello Towers. If you're from the UK, you'll know what the Martello Towers are about. But basically, it's a round cylindrical building, and it used to have a, it'd have a cannon on the roof. And all down here, it's full of them. And one person has converted one into a home. And the walls are six foot thick. So in the summer, it's really cool, and in the winter, it's really warm. And it's just here. It looks like someone's top hat has been dumped down on the floor, but it's the Martello Tower. Oh my god. Wow. I wish I may see, may see if I've got some pictures actually um, back in the day of what this used to look like. Oh I can tell god. you. Wow. Where did you get your driving license? This is just completely different to what I remember it. It used to be lots of little fishing huts. It used to find nets and wow. This is. I'd say that this is a. We should just. Working beach beyond this point. This is a very typical southeastern seaside. What you got, Indy? There's the Martello Towers on the seafront. Oh, they're both disused Daddy, because they're on the army boat. Daddy. Yeah, lots of pebbles, baby. It's good, isn't it? This has changed so much from what I remember it. None of those houses there were there. And these sheds that they've got here weren't the original sheds. They've been put up just to satisfy the fishermen. But that, that used to be an RNLI station. And if you're not from the UK and you don't know what RNLI is, it's the Royal National Life Institute, Lifeboat Institute. Basically, it would have had a um, boat housed in there, and it would have had a bit of a bat uh, accommodation upstairs for people that would have been lifeboatmen. And they, when the alarm went off, when there's a boat in distress, they would have chucked the boat down into the water and rowed out in the olden days. But that's the only thing that I would say is original on this stretch of beach. Just that. That building there next door to it wasn't there, that was just land. And all these flats are. Popped up. I can see it, darling. Right, and there's a FE 379, FE 42, FE 381, and Stella Marina, Folkestone. Lovely day, and there's the sea, just there. The English Channel at its best, flat calm. It's so good, it looks good enough to swim in, but I won't because <laughs> it'll be cold. So we're going to get some food together and then we're going to have something to eat, have a drink and then take a slow trip back home. But this is a life, I like doing this, this is not, oh, this is what I like. It's not organised, we didn't pre-organise this, we just got in a car this morning to go to play a group and then we actually just decided, you know what, let's just go to the folks in North Hive for a picnic. And the spare of the moment things like that are the best because you don't know what to expect. Yeah, I know. Oh, got it done. Right, let's get some food. I wish it was 23 again. You got Eden? You got baby? Have you? She's got um, seaweed and stones. And you're eating your sister's chicken. You can't eat your sister's chicken. That's her yeah, chicken. Yeah, that chicken's turkey. The turkey, whatever, it's the same bloody thing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a different animal. Any similarities? They've got wings. And they're poultry. This is where speedy, so you can get onto your farm bears, aren't you? Eh? Cake. <laughs> Someone over there painting. An easel. Your yeah. You actually come down here a few times. That that um, picture that's in the bedroom is from here. I like to find the boat, but it's probably not here anymore anyway. Right, I'm going to come off the vlog because I'm going to eat. Seen the sea, really. I've got to see. I've got lots of the sea. I like There's the plenty of time for that. You want your crisps, you're smacking the crisps, you are. Oh, here, look. Can we just throw your juice from down the baby? Yeah. 
Wow, look, we're underneath a boat. We're sat underneath a boat, ah. Eden. That's a nice big stone you found there, Eden. Oh, Daddy. <gasps> Pebble! We are currently underneath a catamaran. Oh, Daddy. And I don't know if this is the same catamaran that we used to go fishing under. I can remember going with my brother and my dad. Years and years and years ago. And we got caught in the rain. I'm underneath here. We had a camping stove set up. Whoa! Come on in. Hey. Hey! Slow down. This way. Right. Let go of this one. Put that one down. Let go. Let go that one. Let go. There's plenty to choose from down there. We go down here. Oh, you dropped it. Wait, well, pick it up. Put your hand in. I'm gonna throw it. Throw it in then. Yay! Wow! Is that good? No, don't sit down. Don't sit down, you get wet. No, I'm not letting go of your hand. <laughs> That's the boat that we've just been under. Ooh. Good. Look how nice that water is. Whoa! No, I'm not letting go of your hand, baby. This is the Royal Military Canal in Hive. We just come from the seafront and we're just here. There's a pathway here as well that goes all the way through Hive. <clears throat> but that's the canal just there. And it goes all the way through the Romney Marsh up to Rye, I think it comes out at. Oh, God. But yeah, there you go. That's the canal. Quite nice, actually, to be fair. Next door to Sainsbury's, ironically. And then you've got the other way down there. This was built in Napoleonic times. It was dug out in Napoleonic times. It was basically a, a way of stopping the troops getting in, inland. Um, so it goes all the way down and then in our times and a little bit uh, um, in the 30s and 40s they put bridges in and stuff so it's more feasible. But yeah, it's basically like a big moat that goes from one end of Kent to the other end because obviously with Napoleonic and then Napoleon um, invading, which he never did, I believe, um, they wanted to protect. So that's why they have Martello Towers along the seafront as well, because it's all to do with that. But it's a lovely afternoon. <clears throat> it goes up to the hill. All the way, there's little reading areas, and it's really nice today. Bicycle rides going past. So yeah, and then you've got the main road. And pubs. I might have to come up here in the summer and have a picnic along here. Um, I've often swum in the canal, which is quite nice in the summer. Because the water warms up quite nicely. It's not, not hot, but it's not cold. <clears throat> so we're now going to make our way back home. And then we will pick up Lula after school. So uh, let's get back in the car.
Baby, good girl, you're waving. Yeah. I can see you. What are you doing? Oh. Right, let's get back in the car and we should call it a day. So, we're going to take a drive home now. So, we shall. Do you want to take that a minute? Indy's not happy now because she knows it's time to go. Lots of tears today. Yeah, but lots of laughter too. That's all about. So we're going to make our way home, so we're going to say goodbye. Bye! Thanks for joining. We'll see you again on our next adventure. Oh. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and drop some comments down below and follow us on our social media. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Signing out.